Okay, so I wanted to talk today a little bit about Planet Side 2 and burning out. I feel like a lot of people burn out of Planet Side 2 because of a variety of reasons, and I wanted to kind of explore that in this video. Because it's been two years now, and I have successfully not burnt out of the game. When I initially created my outfit, which now has a very large and active community, one of the main goals I had for myself was knowing that if I decided to stop playing the game, the community would die, especially early on. That isn't the case so much anymore because, fortunately, I've built systems to uh, mean that I'm no longer necessary for the community, which is good because you don't want to be the, the key to the community. Anyway, so when I was looking at people that have played the game for a long amount of time, I noticed a few similarities. And I also uh, noticed some similarities in people which quit. The main things I noticed in people that quit are a high drive to win and a lot of neuroticism and high level energy. In people which stay around for a long time, I generally notice that they play the game more casually, they're less concerned about the meta and they're maybe more focused on community and those people tend to, from what I can tell, stay around for longer. I think that this is often the case because those people are less emotionally invested. And when you're not super, super invested into the game emotionally, you're not taking a lot of energy to play the game, you don't have to, uh, you know, get burnt out. I think a lot of people put in a lot of effort and then they're like, oh, okay, my outfit's dead after three months and I've quit the game. And this happens time and time again, someone comes in really motivated, they create an outfit, and I, I watch them. Um, I, I see how they lead, I, I see the amount of time that they're playing, and I'm like, this dude's going to burn out in two months. Again, this isn't always the case, there are definitely exceptions to that rule that I've noticed. Although even among those people, they're generally more relaxed, slow-talking people that aren't super invested into the outcome of the game in general. I think another part of it is obviously, are you having fun with the game? What are you enjoying about the game that you're playing right now? And thinking about all of the different things that you can do. I think people often forget that there's literally like 15 different types of vehicles and classes in total, and so with that comes a lot of initial variety. And that's without even going into the different ways which each of those classes and vehicles can be used in various different ways to a point where they almost have a different use within that class or within that uh, vehicle. I think a lot of people get bogged down in the meta and they also, also kind of become meta slaves. This is something that when we used to play routers a lot I felt like we started to push into and it took a little bit to push back out of that. And we successfully did, and part of that was because I knew routers were going to get naffed, to be honest, it was obvious. And the other part was because I did see us be a, a bit like kind of meta slaves, and myself as well, in 2021, I'd say in spring, in winter, I was a bit of a Zarg star for myself, you know, I would drive, <laughs> run around and get, you know, a 2k PM and, you know, 2k D is heavy, which isn't like amazing, but it, it's decent. But then I started exploring other parts of the game and I honestly found them almost as fun. But I think at that point, when I was exploring those other parts, I was trying to do it with my outfit. But I had trained these guys into caring about alerts, also caring about infantry. And so I was saying, okay, not only does the alert not matter, and we should, should pick bases in which we find the most fun, and so if we go to the middle of Indar and backcap TI alloys, that may not be strategically a good idea. Maybe it is actually, to be fair, for some, depending on which side you're on. Regardless, we should do that if we find it fun. If we enjoy the base, we should go there. And I think that was a, a stark contrast to how we'd been playing and something that really we had to learn and adopt slowly. And likewise for yourself, you may be a heavy main or a medic main or a light assault main. And switching from what you like to something else might involve giving up that idea of, you know, being able to fly on roofs or go invisible or heal people and seeing the upside of the other classes so that you can experience those as well. I think like a lot of us are creatures of habit and once we get into one vector of gameplay we'll usually stick to that one class, that one loadout and we'll generally do some kind of variation of that and we won't go too far from it. You know if you play Sundays a lot, if you play construction a lot, you continue to do that. 
but I feel like over time the novelty does slowly over the hundreds of hours wear off. And once you get to that point where you're not finding it as fun, switch classes, switch loadouts, do something in totally different, do something insane on the map. You know, go go try to back cap a base with that's got 96 players on it. You know, go, go uh, see how many Sundays you can blow up in an hour. Uh, just whatever you want to do, whatever you find fun. If you want to go around with double pistols, go do that. Uh, again, this is a sandbox game, and I think, especially once you've got good at the game, or at least decent, the opportunities which are presented to you expand significantly, especially because of the extra starts that you're naturally going to have because you've already played quite a bit. Now again, if you're having fun in Planet Side playing the way you are, fair enough. I know a lot of people that like to play CQC Bolt Infiltrator and they're not very interested in healing people, fair enough. My point simply is that the, even as that kind of player, maybe he would enjoy Hesh if he tried it, for example. Right, the, there is always something else to try. So there's that, you know, having more fun. There's being less neurotic. It's, you know, it's not being as concerned with if you win or lose. I would say those are some of the main things to avoid burnout in Planetside. Another thing is something I think that's a lot to do with stoicism, where maybe even if you do care about the outcome, you accept that if you've done as much as you can do, you don't care if you if you win or lose. And I know that sounds contradictory, but it's kind of a very useful tool for a lot of things, and Planet Side included. Um, a lot of the time, still, I'll try to win a lot because um, that's something I find rewarding to do and see my impact in that a lot. But I can't control if I win or not because there's far more factors than just me, and so I shouldn't have this massive annoyance if I lose. And if I win, great, time to celebrate. But if you know if I lose, it's not my fault. And I, again, I know that sounds a bit contradictory, but just for me, level psychologically, it kind of works pretty well. Obviously, another part of not burning out with Planet Side is definitely partially to do with skill. Like, if you're skilled at the game, you're probably less likely to burn out as quickly. And so, following guides, learning a little bit about how to get better at the game might also help you avoid burnout. And certainly for me, that was the case. If I was still at the same level I was two years ago, you know, 0.5 KD, Stalker Infiltrator that transitioned to Pulling Sundays, you know, I wouldn't really probably still be playing the game. And so there did have to be an evolution of my skill in order to see it as something sustainable that I could continue to do. I would be interested in hearing what vector of gameplay you enjoy playing, what's something that you like doing in Planetside. Feel free to leave your comments in the comment section. As always, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, and liking the video helps a bunch. Until next time, bye bye, GG, I'm out.